All right, welcome to Heroes Next Door. Right around the corner is motorcycle season. So we're doing a reaction video to Chicago Fire's motorcycle accident in one of their seasons. We just want to give you a couple key tips on what to do to stay safe and how things will go if a motorcycle accident happens. Okay, we're gonna jump right into the video here. Cops called because the motorcycle is down. Looks like a single rider off the roadway. Um, if I know this video correctly, actually the end of the show, not to give it away, but uh, I believe the cop ended up causing the accident. But coming up, fire rescue is there, ambulance is there all at the same time. They realize that the motorcycle is just trapped. I'm gonna stop it here real quick. So right off the bat, it looks like he's riding an adventure bike that crashed. Those things are fairly heavy. You know, the fact that they say this is close to 500 pounds is not wrong. That's actually a pretty heavy bike and it's laying right on top of him. Hard to get an assessment of this patient right away. We don't know if he's breathing or he's got a pulse. So getting that vehicle off of him so we can get a full assessment is key to this. And Chicago Fire does it perfectly. They move the bike, they move some of the parts out of the way. Remember, it is a crime scene, so you gotta keep an eye on that. But patient safety is first, so they pick up the bike and move it. This guy's wearing a helmet at this time, right? He's wearing a full face helmet. The question that was raised uh, earlier is, do we remove helmets or do we not? So the question is, is the guy breathing or not? And can you manage that airway? A full face helmet protects you the most, but we can't see what's going on. So in some circumstances, we do have to remove that helmet to maintain that airway. So there's a couple of different ways that you can remove a helmet. Obviously a half shell is pretty easy, but you gotta hold C-spine stabilization when you do this. You're gonna reach up underneath the neck from the front of the chest area, hold that C-spine still, and then have another person pull in and pull the ear sections out away from the helmet and then back off the helmet. Do it as smooth as you can and as slow as you can understanding that the whole purpose of this is to open that airway to make sure he's breathing. So once they get the bike off, we actually see that he has a broken leg uh, that's bleeding pretty bad. One of the things that they do, which you know hasn't been taught a lot and actually has quite a bit of controversy over the last couple years, but has improved, is they throw a tourniquet on. How many of us carry tourniquets on our persons now? I know police officers are doing it a lot more, do we as EMS providers do that? That tourniquet came out very quickly in this show, which it should have. Do we have it in our first in bag or do we have it on a person? It's a good question. Do they throw a tourniquet on? I probably would expose the wound a little bit more. Use those trauma seers. Get them naked. Get to where it can so you know what's going on. With all that riding equipment, this guy's got pants on. He's got the coat. He's got the gloves. He's got the helmet. This guy is set and ready to go. Getting those pants off and really getting down to have a tourniquet in place is very important. They go to splint the leg and cut off the helmet. At this moment in time, they're gonna take that helmet off. They did a fairly good job, a little bit of movement, but not too bad, and the guy's awake. So he's breathing. We do need to put him on a long spine board, and they do that. They put a C-collar on, not too bad, and what they miss, small detail, but it's an important detail, is continually get those clothes removed. Cut that jacket off. With that collar up as high as it is, that C collar is not put in place properly. Make sure it's secure, make sure it's right. And unfortunately, that means getting people naked. You gotta cut their clothes off. Other than that, these guys are on a roll. They're doing a great job, working well as a team. Guy's awake and talking. He starts saying something to Casey here, but they can barely make it out. That's very typical. We get patients that talk, sometimes give us our last breath. So it's important for everybody on that scene to be quiet. Let the medics do their job so they can hear what's going on. He might be giving a complaint or he might be saying his last words, which is very important for us. They finish up, he kind of goes unresponsive that time. Once he goes unresponsive, reassess. You gotta see if he's got a pulse, if he's breathing, and take it from that point. That's the end of this video. Once again, Chicago Fire did a great job. A couple of key factors uh, to improve on. What would you guys do differently? So thank you for watching Heroes Next Door. This was one more video on reaction to television shows and what is reality and not. If I met your expectations, please subscribe.